All right, so I'm show a few of the differences between the 1350 and the 1354 transfer cases that came in Ford Rangers. The 1350s were in the older ones, like the 84 to 89 ish. Then the 1354 started about 1990. Um, there's a little bit of discrepancy on exactly when they started. But the 1354s I have are all the twin traction beam ones from 90 to 97. So I know the front output changed on the 98 ones, but most of this will pertain to just the older ones uh, that most people use. So get started on some of the some of the differences. All right, so here you can see the two transfer cases I have. The one on the left here is the 1350, and the one on the right is the 1354. Um, obviously, the first thing you notice is the output shaft for the front drive shaft is different, or this one's a slip yoke on the 1350. And then the 1354 has a manual, has the yoke that you can actually bolt to and then put a slip yoke in your drive shaft. So that's the main thing that you can tell. But a few other things that you can tell the difference on. It's like on the 1350, you'll notice the flange right here, how it comes in around here is uh, a lot smaller and it's a lot tighter around here. Whereas on the 1350, it stays solid pretty much all the way through. It comes up to the top where so instead of it just being back into here, it's a lot bigger flange for it to mount to. Um, I don't know how much of a difference that makes, but that's one difference. The pattern, the the uh, 25 splines are the same between the two, they're interchangeable. Another spot that's different is the shifter linkage. You can see this 1354 has this bent one here, and then on the 1350, it is a straight one. And then you also notice that the, the piece that it mounts to it's on the opposite side. So this one's on one side, this is on the other side. That's why that's one of the reasons why there's a specific shifter for each one of them. You'll also notice that a difference too is on it right here, it's a little dirty, you can't see it. But you can see where this case goes right here and this sticks out maybe three eighths of an inch on the 1354. When you look on the 1350, you'll notice that it doesn't have that. It's right there flush. So those are the big differences on the outside. You can see down here how on the, on the 1350, this case actually says 1350 right there. And then when you come over here, I don't know how well the lights can shine on there, right? But it shows a 1354 down inside of there. Even though up here, it says 1350, on both of these parts but this is a 901 and this one is a 903 so that's another thing another spot you can tell a difference on if i turn it if i turn these both on this way if you look at the case difference right here like at this bolt here in this section all through here it's a lot wider on the 1354 right for more fluid capacity versus on the 1350 where this, the bolt actually sticks out here and it's counterboard back in here. So those are the biggest discrepancies I've been able to find on the outsides of them. There's also a difference on a few other spots. Um, I'll pull out a, the 1350 has a four has a four gear planetary in it where the 1354s typically have a six gear planetary in it. You can swap them in. I did it on my doubler that's in my truck. I can't remember exactly what all I did because that was like 10 years ago. But there's that. And then um, I'll show you one other thing that this part up here on the doublers that people build can make a difference. All right, so this is my spare uh, doubler setup. Same one I have in my truck. It's, it was made by D&D Machine out of Washington. I think they're bankrupt or gone. They're out of business now, so you can't get them anymore. So I was, they will pick up a spare, so if I, in case I broke the one in my truck, I could have some. But anyway, you can see some of the stuff I was talking about here. If you do make the doubler on it, and you cut off this front output, you'll see how this has about a half inch plate in here that fills it. But, and you can see pretty, pretty easily here the differences here. If that front case was used as a 1354 instead of a 1350, you have to use these pieces that, that the kit came with. So it actually went this way like this. But that makes up the difference right there so you can see just how much of a difference it made in that area. So that's one of the 
big things right there. So those are just some of the external ways you can tell the difference between the two. Um, now let me pull out a couple shifters and we can look at the difference of those. Alrighty, so these are the three different shifters I have that I've collected over various uh, transfer cases I've gotten and pulled apart and whatnot. So obviously some of the differences you can tell off is this one here significantly offset and the distance is just a lot shorter on it than the other ones. So we'll go ahead and fit that to one of these transfer cases and uh, see which one it fits. And then same, these two, the lengths are about the same, but this one is straight and this one has a bend in the arm. So this one is labeled A4LD. Fortunately, I don't have one here to test it on, but I do have so I think this is the 1350 one, I think. This is the 1354 manual on a, with a manual transmission. So this one may be the one on the automatic. So we'll see which ones fit. Alrighty, so I got the first shifter on. Kind of surprised me because this one says A4LD. And then this is a tail housing from a M5OD manual transmission. So go figure. But anyway, so the 1350 wasn't the one I thought it was going to be. But it but the one with the bend is the one that fits this. So then uh, I'll throw a 1354 on here and see which one fits that. All right, so now I got the 1354 bolted up to the tail housing here and it used the uh, straight one for that. So the, cur so the bent one like this, let's go figure it says A4LD on it right there, worked on the 1350 on the M5OD, but the straight one, that's straight right here for the 1354 and it all let's see if I can so yeah it'll shift so I'm not sure what this one's for that's all I have access to so maybe it's like the old old Rangers with the with the FM 145 transmissions or one of the uh, old early 80s the 80s stuff uh, I don't have any of those at my house so anyway that's where those go one other thing to note too that I noticed while I was doing this the 1354 up here uses a metric bolt to hold the tail housing in where the 1350 used an imperial uh, bolt I think it was 3 8 and this is maybe a 10 millimeter I'm not sure but anyway I noticed that because I've had that problem before trying to put stuff together but so it looks like the old 1350 stuff that bolt happens to be a standard bolt and then on the 1354 it swapped to a metric bolt so I, there you go all right so the short guy here on this one right here that was had the short arm on it i remembered where that goes what setup i have that for so that one and i'm not gonna pull it all the way out but that one is for the c5 automatics like so that came that one came in the 84 and 85 Rangers, uh, basically the same as the C4. So you can build it with all the C4 parts. But that's what the short one's for, and probably for a 1350 behind it. So I guess if I was gonna put a 54 before, behind it, I'd have to cut it and take uh, maybe take out some of that bend. But anyway, that's what those are for. Uh, hopefully that gives you some ideas on it. I'm sure there's more I left out on the on the differences between the two but that gives you a gives you an idea on them thanks